Listen, you only live by faith in the Son of God that loves you forever and ever. He will not leave you nor forsake you. He will not walk away from you. Your purpose are secure in Jesus Christ. Can I just have an amen in that? People ask me, why don't you quit? Because Jesus never quits on us. Are you there? Are you with me? Are you fully persuaded? Listen, I'm fully persuaded that there's a God in heaven that loves me by name. He has counted the very hairs on my head. I'm persuaded He heals the same day, the same way He did 2021 years ago. I am fully persuaded that what He says can come to pass. I'm fully persuaded that He, when He moves, all of heaven bows down, all of the earth acknowledges Him. I am persuaded that they that are for us are much more than what they that are against us. I am fully persuaded that I have power over authorities, I have power over the demons, I have power over viruses, I have power over sicknesses. I am fully persuaded and so should you be. You need to understand you are stronger than what you think. There's a power living inside of you. His name is the Holy Spirit. He's not in heaven, He's inside of you. Oh, come on. And if we just understand how much of the power of God lives inside of us, we will not negotiate our future. This is one reason why I'm not negotiating the future. Because I know He said. It is not because of what some said. It is not about what man said. It's about what God says. Whatever God says must come to pass. Are you there? I've never lost my childlike faith. When He says it, He can do it. Simple. If He says it, He will do it. If He said to me, He'll come, He comes. If He said to you, He'll heal, He'll heal. If He said to you, listen, just because we're not seeing it always like we want to see it, doesn't mean He has denied His word. Ah, come on, are you with me? I've learned something about the devil. The Bible says, if the devil comes like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour, resist him. The word resist is a Greek word, um, to stand against, to raise up against. Then the Bible says, and he will flee away from you. The word flee is a Greek word, fugamai, which means this, that if we resist the devil and keep on resisting him, there comes a time that the devil takes his tail, put it between his legs and he runs away. I am amazed how many people are afraid in the season. What are you afraid of? Why are you afraid of death? Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, death, where is your victory? Jesus Christ has conquered death, hell, and the grave. Listen, before there was anything that we have seen like this, it was Jesus Christ was still a reality. Now that we are in the mess of all of this, He is still a reality. Nothing in heaven has moved. Everything on the earth has moved. Why? Because God is purging the earth. Come on, He's getting the earth ready for an outpouring of His Spirit. God has got absolutely nothing zero to do with this virus, but He has got everything to do with preparing His people. Oh, come on. People have asked me my opinion. I said, listen, my opinion doesn't matter. The only opinion that matters is His opinion. And He said, all things work together for your good. Does it mean that we don't need to war? Absolutely not. No, you need to war. Does it mean you can, you, you can do things like you did it 15 months ago? Absolutely not. You have to live differently. Because the Bible says the time is upon us. Come on, you don't even know what tomorrow will bring. And the truth is you never knew. You only had today. So serve Jesus while you have breath. Come on, it is amazing for me how, to, how I see people. They have... Like you guys sitting here tonight, you have got healthy legs, you've got breath inside of you, you've got hands, you've got a mouth. Do you know how much you've got to praise Him for? You actually have the ability to stand up. Do you know how many people that are sitting in wheelchairs will beg for your legs? Oh, come on. We have much more that's on our side than that what is against us. Oh, come on, are you there? Thank you for watching our latest sermon today and being a part of that what Empower Church is doing globally. We want you to stay connected, so please click the subscribe button and let your friends know. Be a part of what Empower Church is doing globally. Subscribe and do so today.